Laser Engraving 911. My name is Michael and I'm going to show you how I prepare artwork that's been sent to me from customers for laser engraving. Um, this is a method I've been using for years now and we're going to be using two different programs. We're going to be using the latest version of Adobe Photoshop and the latest version of Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, I actually had some a customer sent me some art the other day for a project they were working on and uh, they wanted me to engrave some pictures on some wood that they sent me. They were building a Dungeon Master screen board and they had some art that they found on the internet which is very common and uh, they sent me what they wanted to have engraved on it. I pretty much assume almost all the time that when people send me art it's going to be probably pretty low quality. It's going to be pixelated. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. And we can do some magic to it like we're going to do today. Um, but I still need to prepare it for the engraver because I want to give the customer the highest resolution engraving possible. And I also want to work uh, primarily with vectors when I'm doing uh, pit, uh, graphics, logos, and things like that. So let's just jump right into it. So I've got uh, Adobe Photoshop open here and I'm going to go ahead and open this file that the customer sent me. Here it is here. It's this picture of this goblin. And if I zoom in real quick I can see that there is some pixels going on here. And uh, it's pretty good, I mean as it is, but I want to convert this into a vector and I want to get it ready to for the live trace feature in Adobe Illustrator. So here is what I'm going to do. So first I'm going to go to the image and I'm going to go to image size. I'm going to inspect this image and I can see right away this 96 DPI. <clears throat> it's no good for what I'm going to do. So I want to upscale this. Uh, so I want to upscale this to 600 DPI and I'm going to pick this resampling preserve details 2.0 is my preference. Um, and you're going to see a little preview right here of what it's going to do and there is still some anomalies in there but don't worry about that we're going to we're going to get rid of all that that little gray stuff in there i just want clean black lines so let's go ahead and just click okay it's going to take a second and it's going to upscale it and you might have to zoom back out to see what it just did so now we've upscaled the photo. Let's 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 go in a little bit and see. Oh yeah, it's already looking better. No more, not a lot of pixels anymore, but it's still got that grayish kind of little hues, anomalies uh, around here, and I want to get rid of those. So I'm going to zoom back out. Next, I'm going to go to Image Adjustments Threshold. Now the threshold is going to drop anything that's not um, true black out of the image. And you're going to use this slider. You can go up or you can go down. If you go too far down, you're going to wash out the image. And if you go too high, you're just going to get, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> you're going to get some, some pooey image there. So we're going to kind of try to find that sweet spot where it's kind of showing some of the details of the lines and the legs. and just kind of get it where you need it to be. Uh, I'm going to leave it about right there, about 184, and I'm going to click OK. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on that image and see what we got there. Oh yeah, that's already looking fantastic. It's still a little jaggedy around those edges, but don't worry. We're going to take care of that in Adobe Illustrator right now. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image as a PNG. And I'm going to, you can see I was already goofing around with this earlier. I'm going to save this as, I already have one there, so let's call this Goblin Upscale. All right, we'll save that. It's going to come up with this large file size, fastest saving. Just click OK. And now we're going to switch over to the next program, which is Adobe Illustrator the latest version. Fantastic program for working with vectors, creating vectors. So let's go ahead. Now we're going to switch to Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's see if we can find our image we just upscaled right here. Um, let's see. 
goblin upscale. There it is. I'm going to bring in that, and there he is. Looking the same as he did over in Photoshop. So now we're going to get down to the fun part here. We're going to select the image that we just imported. Make sure you highlight it on it, and we're going to hit Image Trace. This is the Live Trace feature, very powerful feature in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just click that button. We're not going to mess with any of the Live Trace settings. Um, button that's called Image Trace. Let's get down to it. It'll take a second, depending on your computer. Now, it has effectively traced this, and it's basically already a vector, but you can notice I lost some of the lines when it traced it, so that's easy to fix. There's a little button to the left of the where the trace button was. It's image trace panel. And just like the threshold in Photoshop, we can slide this up a little bit and it'll retrace it and bring back some of those that those lines. And just like in Photoshop, if you go too much, you can get a little crazy. You've got to get it right where you want it. I like that right there. So I'm going to go ahead and close that window. And then really important here, after we've live traced, we're going to hit the expand button. So expand now expanded all the tracing lines so you can see all the different vector lines that are created. But I still got this this box here. See that? I don't want to bring I don't want to work with that when I bring it into the engraver. I don't I don't need that bounding box and I definitely don't need all that white in the image. No problem. We're gonna get rid of that too. So we're gonna go to object ungroup right and then I'm gonna click anywhere on this image that's white it can be anywhere that's white it doesn't matter but just don't click on the black and don't click on the lines just click anywhere that's white once I click on anywhere that's white I'm gonna go to object or select sorry same fill color and then I'm just gonna hit delete on my keyboard pow look at that gone and then I'm going to highlight, I'm going to box, bounding box this image, just highlight this image, and go back to Object, Group. Now let me show you why I did that. The reason I did that is because, actually I'll undo that. So here, now he's ungrouped. If I go to move him over, check this out. Oh, wait, oh, let me, I want to move you over here. I want to replace you over here. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh no, man, I got pieces of them all over the place. So whenever I do trace we'll go we'll back up here we'll do that that trick again select same fill color whenever I get rid of all the fill I highlight them all and I go to object group and that is simply for the reason when I'm working on my layout you know whatever whatever that is when I'm drag this guy around and I'm resizing him because now he's a vector I can make him as small Right? I can make him as small as I want to. That image right there is only half an inch wide by half an inch tall. Um, or I could make him huge. I could do some oversize engraving. Uh, I don't lose any resolution. And let's take a look at the resolution while we're here. Look at that. Look at all those, those jagged lines that we were talking about earlier. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. It's magic. It's fantastic. So. <clears throat> This is how I prepare uh, artwork um, and get it ready. And this thing is right, right here. This is ready to go in the epilogue or any laser software that you're using. Almost all laser softwares take vectors. In fact, they prefer vectors. Um, this thing's ready to go. I can, you know, get my layout ready. Um, you know, what, whatever, whatever the, whatever I'm doing here. I'm going to do two of these guys here, you know, maybe make some kind of like collage or something like that, but um, this is the way to prepare art for laser engraving. Mm -hmm.